Here's how to delete blocked contacts on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you previously blocked a specific contact, their phone number or email address, I'll show you how to delete it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's say you're in your phone app here and on any specific person, you tap on the little I right next to them and you hit block caller and block. Just like that, that specific person has been blocked on your phone. They can't email you, they can't text you, they can't call you, can't FaceTime you, any of that. Now, let's hop into your settings here and you have two different options. Let's scroll down and you're gonna find the phone app. So tap on apps at the very bottom and then scroll down and we're gonna find phone. So there's phone, tap on it. And from here, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you can see blocked contacts. I can tap on that and it will show every single contact that I have blocked. You have two different options if you wanted to delete it. One is you can just swipe to left and hit unblock. Essentially, that removes them from your block list. It deletes them from your block list, but by doing so, it unblocks them. Then they will be able to text you or call you after you've done that. So that is one option, essentially, if you wanted to hide them from this block list and you don't want them on there, or you wanted to remove everything from here. But you have another option as well. So I have AT&T, you can just go to a web browser and type in at and block number or block contact. You can also do that over course if you have Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, whatever you have. Now on here, you can go to basically the support pages. For instance, on here, if you receive an unwanted call, you can also dial the star 61. And essentially by doing that, it will block the number on the carrier side. So even if it's removed or deleted from the block list on your iPhone, your carrier itself, whether it's AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever it might be, will block that number from their side so it never even gets to your phone. So essentially, if you don't want it to be on that list, you can still block them just by blocking them on your carrier. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.